of course, one of the things that many, many people will know you from is The Expanse mm -hmm. and playing uh, right. Jean-Pierre Ma Jean -Pierre Mao. And um, I was, I, I wanted to ask you a bit about, like, a lot of your characters seem to have slightly French names. And is, it, is it, that... It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but you, you never, I, I was looking you up and of course you're, you're right. Cambodian so I was thinking oh maybe, maybe he speaks a bit of French but is that something that yeah. ever ever helped you in any way when you were cast when you're doing casting um it's I, I haven't really gotten a, too much of a chance because a lot of most people don't don't realize that I speak French yeah uh, uh, well, the one time I I got to use the French was and this is a very strange uh Years ago, I would say maybe over ooh, 30 years ago. Yeah. Uh, there was a show on uh, on TV called Love Boat. Okay. And uh, they they called me. You know, I, I just moved to Los Angeles, I think, uh, like maybe a few months uh, before that. And uh, they called me up and said, hey, uh, do you, I heard you speak French. Do you speak French? Can you, you know... Uh, so call this casting lady. She's going to ask you to, you know, to say something in French and see how your French is. And, <laughs> and uh, if they need someone to do some kind of thing on, on this, uh, some kind of voice over thing on the, an episode of this love boat. Yeah. So uh, I said, okay. So I call, and I, you know, I started this. I don't know, forget what I said, but she says, oh, okay, that sounds good. You know, can you show up here at this time and time? I said, okay, that's great. So I go and I, I do, uh, they needed, there was a, a an episode, I, th I think where they were, people were in the south of France and there was mm. a, a Tour de France going on and uh, they needed like a, a voiceover of a, like a sports announcer, you know, okay. uh, doing the, the, the Tour de France thing. Yeah. And uh, they said, okay, here you go, uh, you know, just... Say whatever you know. Say say whatever you you have to say, or, or translate this and say whatever you have to say, to as, as you as you as the race is going, and you know, this person is going ahead, and this person is behind, and so forth. And I was like, wow, okay, I can speak it, but I really can't translate right on the spot. And even more, I can't just you know make up stuff as we're yeah. as I'm watching it going along. Uh, but uh, it, it was a little hairy, but it, it turned out okay. Yeah, and, uh, that was basically the only time I got to use uh, I got to use my French. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually something I used to do. I used to translate uh, and tra I, I would uh, working in France. I'm I'm bilingual, and I was often asked right. to in my previous job. I used to work for a company. I was the editor of their English language site, and they would always. Yeah because I was actually the only person there that could speak both languages fluently. Uh -huh. So that they would bring me to places like Comic-Con in Paris and literally yeah. get me on a live to translate uh -huh. what these, what these are, you know, mostly uh -huh. American actors were saying. Right. And right. some of them would give such long answers and then everyone would look at <laughs> yeah. me afterwards on a live and ask me to translate. It's, it's, it's not easy, I can tell you that. It's, no, it's, it's not, not easy. It's not, people think, oh, you speak it, so you can just do whatever, you know. I'm like, oh, well, yeah. no, not really. It's funny because uh, these days, I, I uh, you know, with all these streaming services, Netflix and so forth, you get yeah. a lot of choices. So I, I watch a lot of uh, uh, French uh, series. Yeah. Um, uh, so I'm tr I try to not put on the subtitles so I can mm. kind of get get used to. Get but back boy, into, yeah. it's hard because uh, you know it's almost like wow, my French is maybe like you know, 50 years old and these guys are speaking. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, stuff now that, that I've never, <laughs> never heard of before. I know it's, it's so not it, easy. One, a show that yeah. you should watch that's on Netflix is 10%. It's a French show. Oh, it's, uh, I, 10%. my wife and I love that show. Oh, it's so good. It's such we, a good we've show. We've watched it, uh, you know, I was, I first discovered it and I told my wife, you got to watch this. So we watched <laughs> all, uh, we were like, we watched the last season. We're like, oh no, yeah, that's it. It's gone. But I hear they're they're trying to make a movie or they're trying or, to make a movie. Something. Yeah, that's 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 the new thing I've heard. They're trying to make a movie, so you should try and get involved in that. I'm pretty sure you could. Uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd be great. I don't know. Yeah, 
Is there, the the reason why I um I mean I asked about looking at looking up your uh, your incredible CV. I have to say, um, you have literally been in some of my favorite shows of all time, and I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to name that. I mean, of course, The Expanse. Um, right. That was that was probably the first time that I um I really fell in love with like a, a science fiction show of that kind. But then you've also got like Castle, Chuck, The Mentalist. You appeared in <laughs> Lost, Grey's Anatomy, Alias. So I mean, what what's the role that most people recognize you for when 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 they bump you know, into you? It's uh, it used to be um, it would be Lost, yeah, um, for for a while because. Uh, but now, man, I, it's already been more than 10 years since the show went off the air. So uh, there's still like a crazy amount of Lost fans out there. But that was it. Uh, I, I've been doing um, a bunch of these Comic-Cons uh, mm. in various little cities uh, in, the, in the States here. And uh, what's amazing to me is is still um, most people, most fans will still recognize me and i'm not sure i'm not sure how uh from um teenage mutant ninja turtles <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was Which a very was, good one it was, it was you know it's, i get these sort of middle-aged men coming up to me and saying oh my god you you scared me when i was a little boy and you know i, I <laughs> you were my favorite villain and i grew up watching you <laughs> i said oh thank you <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah so it's it's uh, crazy yeah. it's still uh you know um but yeah th i would say uh probably uh lost maybe the expanse now but a lot of times you know i'm i'm sort of the guy that you if you watch tv enough you'll see me pop up sooner or later right and you'll go oh yeah you did there's the oh it's that guy well i know that guy but i don't know who he is but yeah that's that guy <laughs> But is I mean when when um, producer James told me that we were we were interviewing you I got I got very excited because I was like I I know you from so much stuff you're probably one of the busiest like actors around because you don't just do TV as well I know your voice quite well because I played Ghost of Tsushima so uh, <laughs> so and I also I played XCOM as well and you you're you're a voice oh, in that's that that's right that's right yeah and uh, I was wondering what what do you like about doing voiceover for video games and which medium do you prefer tv or, or video games i uh you know in terms of video games i really and most of this like the voiceover or on camera and so forth mm. i really don't i don't know if i have a, a preference it, it's sort of you know a lot of uh, uh people will say oh he's a he's a voice actor oh he's, a, he's mm. only doing on camera stuff oh he's you know he does video games and stuff and i you know i i literally i'm lucky enough to have been offered some of this stuff and uh it's like i don't really go out of my way to try to you know try to find like say more voice work or more of this yeah. and that. whatever you know whatever, whatever comes my way and they hire me i'll say yeah okay that's i'll do that <laughs> but have, have you had that uh, so, before yeah. with Ghost of Tsushima, people recognizing your voice from that game. Yes, yes, yeah. it's it's strange. I, I, people have told me, um, I and I I don't see it, but they, they've told me I have a, a rather distinct voice. And if, once you, you do, if you hear my <laughs> voice, you will go, oh, "Wait a minute, I, I know that voice." <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know a lot of voice actors who are you know like legends, who are incredible, who can do all sorts of crazy voices, and they have they do like hundreds of different characters. And I, I, I'm not that guy. I can't do different voices. Most of the voiceover stuff I, I do is just, it's basically just me, you know, blabbering on kind of thing. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, you know, if they, if they want a, a voice like mine, I guess they can call me up. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, honestly, that it, well, it's, again, it's it's just one of those things. It's like your your career to me has, is is fascinating, because um, I mean, I'm I'm going to make no, you know, uh, I, I have tried to get into the industry. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, I can tell you, it's not easy, mainly in voiceover work. Um, right. But I, I have to, I, I did want to ask you specifically because you are one of the busiest actors. I can like literally your IMDb page goes on and on and on. <laughs> Uh, but would you would you have any advice for somebody that's trying to break into the industry? What do you think is the best the, thing? The to voiceover do? voiceover acting industry. 
Um, well, I, I, I mean, know. I was thinking either, to be honest, like if you're in TV right. as well, if you want to get into TV. Right. Um, I, you know, I would say, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people who, who give, could give you advice and who are very legitimate and who, uh, most of what everybody says is is right on right on the spot. I mean, you know, work hard. You 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 be prepared. Uh, just keep keep at it, kind of thing. You know, of course, all that works. Uh, for me, it's very. Um, I mean, luck has a, a big big uh, deal to do with it. Uh, hmm. you know, the old the old the old be in the right place at the right time, kind of thing. Uh, but I would say just. Uh, you know, again, keep at it and and don't be discouraged because it, it, it takes a long time. I've been yeah. doing this. I've been doing this for uh, like 40 plus years. And, uh, you know, everyone, everyone started out sometime or the other. And, mm. you know, voiceover stuff. I, <laughs> I don't know where it is. I've been with my agents for, for years now. And, and every time... <laughs> Uh, it comes up that I have to go in and, you know, resign my contract or something. I'm always going, hey, mm. you know, are you sure you want to resign me? Because I'm not really, I, I, you send me all these auditions and I do them. And, uh, you know, there's hundreds of auditions and I never, I never book anything. Uh, you know, every once in a while, maybe a little something will come up and I say, Oh, but it's not like I'm making you guys a ton of money. <laughs> and they keep saying no no that's you know it, it, that's that's how it is even especially yeah. now where uh you know with uh internet access and and so forth you basically you're now competing with with the whole world as yeah. opposed to before years ago you would go in for an audition you go into the studio you know you would tape your thing and then the uh, even then, uh, you know, it was a smaller group. Now, yeah. with everyone being having access to it, you could you could be living you know, like in, in Paris, you submit yeah. yourself, and and, and uh, you know, now now uh, it's great that it's opened up. But again, you're competing with you know thousands of others uh, as before yeah. you weren't. So it's it's just a matter of you know doing it and doing it, and then sooner or later. Um, you'll hit it and once you once you get a little work that'll kind of generate a little more as, as you go along at least that's how it's worked for me and again it, it's it, everybody's different so uh yeah you know. well no i think persistence is probably the key um that's yeah. something that comes yeah. up a lot when i ask people that question yeah and it's you know of course me sitting here saying that it's it's you know it, I, I know it's not easy i know it's, it's yeah you know and especially for actors, you know, you, 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 you tell me, oh, you're, you're working a lot and so forth. But, you know, if you're an actor, you, you no matter what stage you're in, you never work enough. <laughs> you're, you're always going, oh, no, what am I going to do next? Uh, oh, no, what's coming up next? Or, well, you know, you, you finish something and you're like, oh, my God, you know, was that it? Is, it, is, is, there, you know, yeah. is that it for me? <laughs> is there other stuff coming up that... Uh, that you can work so uh that's that's the that's the mindset and it's uh it's hard to get rid of <laughs> hmm. and and especially yeah. working on in tv I'd, I'd imagine it being quite difficult because i mean you yourself have been part of some pretty amazing shows that have been cancelled way before their time yeah um thinking right. of specifically of the tick um, oh. which that was cancelled way before its time but um way. what's it <laughs> yeah, what's it like being part of a show that you know is so good and it gets cancelled too early? Oh, uh, it's you know I've been in other shows where, uh, yeah, you know uh, it, it got cancelled, but but the tick really, really mm. hit home for me because it was yeah. uh, literally that is the I was I've been waiting for forty years for that role to come along and uh, I had so much fun doing that show. Uh, and, you know, the, the whole the whole cast and crew was, were, you know, when we got canceled, we were like, oh, my God, it, uh, it's one of those things where you go, ah, we, we tried to keep it going, but it's just, you know, something you got to accept. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's, uh, for me, though, I've done a lot of shows where I've been recurring on different series, but I've never mm -hmm. been 
like a, a series regular on a show. Yeah. So I, I'd have imagined for the series series regulars, it's 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 a lot, it's a lot more uh, painful. You know, yeah. it doesn't uh, it doesn't come along too often. And, uh, you get on a show that's good or something, and you go for a while. It's it's amazing. It's great. Yeah. And, and I mean, especially that I get you have been. You say you weren't a series regular. You were virtually a series regular on on the Expanse. I would say you you were in a lot of episodes on the Expanse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's I can imagine there must be a, an incredible kind of sense of because uh, we we actually. Uh, we got to speak to Thomas Jane um, uh-huh. uh, earlier as well. And he was talking about the expanse and how it was like a, a really kind of family atmosphere with that show and a sense of a real sense of community. I'd imagine that yeah. was, was hopefully the same for you. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> that, it was, it, it, it was great. Even though, you know, uh, my character, if I, if I, did a good job, you know, you would want to like punch me in the face or something when you, when you see me. <laughs> but, uh, you, you, uh, yeah, your character's not a very nice guy. I can yeah. You that, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. You know, but a lot of shows, uh, a lot of times though, um, I would like do a guest spot on a show, you know, like a, a Grey's Anatomy or something like that. Yeah. And I would, I would only be there for, uh, you know, that episode for the eight days, whatever, a few days. And it's hard because uh, you're sort of the guest of the house and you come in, mm. you kind of do your job. And by the time you sort of get into the groove and get to know people, it, it's over, right? The, the episode yeah. is done and you're off. So a lot of that, uh, uh, I've done a lot of that. And there are times where I've recurred on shows like The Expanse where uh, you get to be a little longer. And th- that's that's great because you do get to know the other cast, the crew, especially. Uh, uh, and uh, if you're lucky, everyone works together. It's like a big family and it's great. And mm. uh, when it's finished, you kind of go, oh my God, you know, that was great. That's, uh, you, you want to wish it continued, but, you know, and then you go on to the next one and hopefully you'll get, you'll have the same experience. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That that was really the feeling I got talking to Thomas Jane about, uh, specifically for him about the Expanse as well, because he actually yeah. directed a couple of those episodes as well. I think. Right. And, um, right. Um, I I can't not talk to you about one person in particular. When I um I remembered I remembered you from Rescue Dawn, and <laughs> yeah. um you got to work with one of my favorite directors and actually kind of just favorite people, uh, Werner Herzog. Uh, I yeah. wanted to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do an impression of, uh, of Werner Herzog, although I will say abyss staring into the <laughs> abyss. But, uh, <laughs> what, what was it like working for him? Is he as eccentric he, as he is? In, in his yes, I would say yes, he was, you, um, but he was, uh, he was one of the, the greatest people I've, ever, I've worked with. Uh, it was, it was a amazing experience. Um, he, I guess, uh, yeah, eccentric would be a good, uh, a good way to, to describe him. He, you know, he's, he's, I think he was used to, he's used to working his own way. Right. Yeah. So, um, it's funny. I, I would fly over, I fly over to Thailand. I, I get to the, the, the hotel and set and, uh, start, you know, kind of get settled in and, um, meeting, meeting the, the crew and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> There's like, uh, oh, you know, uh, you, we, you, it's kind of funny because uh, we're sort of all new here too. Because uh, last week, uh, most of the crew uh, quit, and uh, we're we're we're, we're, the, we're the replacements. We're the new crew. <laughs> I said, what? What do you mean they quit? He goes, yeah, they 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 they, they couldn't they couldn't you know work it out working with her uh, with Verna. And I said, oh, Jesus, he. I was I got a little apprehensive. I was like, "Oh, geez," because uh, I, I hadn't met him yet. He was on he was on the set, and he hadn't come back to the hotel yet. So, finally, I met him, and we started talking. And I thought, "Wow, what, what's the deal? Why is he? This is a very nice guy. He's very, you know, I, was, I can't believe people can't get along with him." <laughs> uh, but you know what it is is like I say, he's he's used to his way of of working, and I think you remember. Um, uh, Fitzcarraldo, right? Uh, where he, mm-hmm. he's, 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 he's there out in the Amazon. He's pulling that boat across the across, the, and they, they did it for real. <laughs> oh my uh, god! So 
you can imagine him going, oh, okay, yeah. we'll, we'll do this shot. And him grabbing the camera and taking it off and going and setting it up himself and stuff. So I think that's because he's used to that. He kind of stepped on some toes because he would just kind of, you know, do his thing. And people would go, hey, wait a minute, that's, that's my job. That's, you know, mm. don't, don't. Uh. So um, if you can't adapt to working like that, then maybe you, you think, oh, this is a guy that's it's hard to work with. But I had, I had mm. no problems. And, and you know, uh, I, I hung out with him and so forth. And it, uh, it was really, it, it's, it's, it's funny seeing him. But that, that was years ago. But I see him now as the bad guy in some of these things that he's done mm. <laughs> he really is good at it. <laughs> he is very good. Um, I yeah. still remember watching him in the first couple of episodes of The Mandalorian. And yeah. Thinking, God, yeah, yeah. it's such good casting. Um, it is. And I think it he was is. also in a Jack. He was in a Jack Reacher movie, wasn't he? he was in, he yeah, was the in first one, the Jack Reacher one. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. He was like, ooh, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, he's he's someone that that um, I've always admired and. Um, uh, when I mean again, Rescue Dawn, brilliant performance by the way. In that, I was very I, honestly that that film is a, holds a special place in my heart because uh, I think it was one of the first films that I watched. I, I did uh, I studied uh, film at university, and that was one of the first mm -hmm. films we got to watch because we did a whole Werner yeah. Herzog um, bit. And uh, Bravo, that's what I, that's what I said. That's a fantastic movie. <laughs> yeah, it it was it was a great experience. It's a great experience. Uh, is is there anything in the pipeline for you that that uh, you're ex that you're excited about that you can actually talk about? Yeah, so that's the thing, right? Uh, these yeah. days, uh, everything I do uh, comes with that that NDA. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you, you can't even audition for stuff now without signing an NDA. You know, yeah. they send it to you and they say, "Hey, sign this, or you won't. You know, we won't look at you." I'm like, okay. Uh, so yeah, there's a <laughs> there's, there's a couple stuff. of things in the works that uh, that I've been working on this year that uh, it's been pretty fun and it should be uh, uh, pretty uh, popular. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure it's like Netflix or, or, okay. or Hulu or Disney or whatever it is. There's a couple of series so many that sort of <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a couple of series I've sort of uh, had recurring characters on that. Uh, uh, I think should be it was a lot of fun to do and it, it should do pretty mm. well but again it's like oh i don't want to be the one to <laughs> get a call from production going what the hell did you do? <laughs> yeah exactly well i won't press you too hard on that yeah. one <laughs> yeah. um I, I actually i did have one one last question uh because you've played so many characters um i was wondering if there's one character in particular you'd love the opportunity to re to revisit in the future Oh, without hesitation, it would be Walter in The Tick. In The Tick. Yeah, I thought uh, so. Yeah. It, 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 that, I mean, like I said, I waited so long for the character to come along. And basically, you know, most of the stuff I've done, uh, especially when I was younger, uh, is is uh, the villain. Uh, yeah. Right? I mean, it's, you know, I for, for some reason, people think of me as... <laughs> 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 which is good it's good it's a good thing <laughs> uh but uh walter in the tick was was basically yeah i mean it, it basically is me this sort of yeah. nerdy schleppy guy who is you know just fun to be around and <laughs> and turns out to be something a little <laughs> something else but uh, uh it was it, it really was just like oh my god this is there was no no push or, or anything. Mm. It was just, it kind of fit me like a glove and I I've, I felt so great working on it. Uh, well, fingers crossed yeah. it gets, uh, Amazon comes in and decides that that wasn't such a good decision to cancel it. <laughs> well, I, I think we're, we've gone, the, I think the window yeah, was closed a while ago. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> we're all getting a little, uh, yeah. Um, well, honestly, it's a really, if you, anyone that's uh, watching this, uh, uh, this interview now that hasn't watched The Tick, uh, do go and watch The Tick because it's absolutely brilliant. Yes. It's on Amazon Prime Video. It's uh, Amazon really Prime. good. It's, uh, yeah. it really is, uh, I, I was so, I was very surprised. I, I, I love the, uh, the animated one in the 90s. Mm. Uh, and uh, I'd watched the, the last live version one, uh, you know, with Patrick Warburton. 
and I, yes. I loved all the characters on it. I was like, whoa, this is great. And this one, you know, I started working on it and uh, I, I, I thought, oh, it's it's funny, it's great, but it's not like, you know, just funny. It's it's mm. it's got a lot of heart to it. Yeah. So uh, it really they really made something special. And, um, you know, you don't know these days, especially with the streaming stuff, what what how they they, they choose to renew a show or cancel a show or. or what, yeah, it's you know, true. Well, yeah. what it is, is it making money? Is it artistically this or that? Or is it just, you know, changing yeah, we, producers, you know? Yeah. We even talk to uh, we talk to creators that are like waiting on on gre- the green light for their for a second season on a show, and they're right, like, we don't right. know until a couple of weeks before. Yeah, uh, that, yeah, that's how it goes nowadays. Yeah, Shame. a lot of shows, and you would think, wow, you know, yeah. what's to wait for? A lot of shows, you go, this is really uh, something that uh, has a big fan base, is something you know very familiar, but um, even even the you know those kind of shows mm. i guess like i say no one knows what kind of what they use to to uh, gauge how to go on or not right you know <laughs> i think it's uh, i think it's wizardry i, d- I don't think anyone yeah. knows <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you yeah. watch stuff and you go wow that got canceled and then you watch some other stuff and you go, wow, that got renewed. <laughs> exactly. That's right? exactly what I, I, I feel um, that a lot. <laughs> yeah. I guess, I guess I wouldn't be good as a, as a network executive because I'd be going, now ah, what's the, <laughs> oh, well, what no, are honestly, talking about? <laughs> honestly, I'd love to see the tick come back and I can't wait to see what you do next. Uh, it's oh, very secretive. You. You're being very secretive, but I understand Well, you know, I, I, you know, what it is is now that I'm getting a little older uh, yes. and the gray hair is starting to, uh, I, I, I jokingly, every time I meet uh, younger, like Asian American actors or, or just other Asian actors, uh, I, I'll tell them, I, you know, be prepared because uh, it's going to happen sooner or later. I will play your dad, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> if I stick around long enough, I will play your granddad. So get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank, thank you so much for talking to us, Francois. It's been a real pleasure. Oh, you're very welcome, Thank you. You're very welcome. And good luck with everything. Thank you. You too. <laughs> <laughs>